Yo, what is up guys, Toaster Cat here. I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot, but you know, I've been swamped with school, work, and yada, yada, yada. I'm making a lot of excuses, but I still try to post whenever I can. I got really inspired to make a video talking about this because I think it's an interesting subject and would like you guys to comment down below on your experiences with this, or maybe you should try it. So as the title states, it's growing with manga or how manga helps you grow. Essentially, take a manga, take a movie, take a book that you've read years ago, reread it and analyze what you liked more this time around or what you didn't like as much. So I'm going to be doing this with Vinland Saga. Very non-spoilerish but if you haven't read Vinland Saga I highly recommend you stop the video right here and go read Vinland Saga. It is one of the greatest mangas in my opinion. It's like Game of Thrones meets manga form you know set in a Nordic um, fucking Viking setting that is super historically correct. I, I believe at least it uses date dates and names of real people I'm just assuming it they're they're not bullshitting me but uh yeah look into that if you're a real history buff but yeah Vinland Saga I reread re re -read this recently and I'm super shocked with my change my growth as a person I think the last time I read a Vinland Saga was about three years ago three or four years ago and when I did I really 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 enjoyed the beginning arcs as super packed, uh, super grand on a scale, a lot of uh, really likable characters, really despisable characters as well, but you grow to like some plot twists and some, you know, crazy what the fuck moments. Overall, it was just a roller coaster. And then, you know, the roller coaster hits this, this sudden stop in acceleration and we hit the farm sequence, you know, hit farm arc, you know, s vagabond essentially. And I wasn't a fan of the farm arc. I just wanted to go back to that. And that's, that's how I was back then. Rereading this, the farm arc is my favorite arc. And it is, I wish we were still there. Honestly, uh, everything that's coming afterwards is obviously really good as well. Uh, but farm, nothing has been able to top the farm. I think it is one of the greatest arcs in manga in Vinland Saga for sure so much character growth so much really really sad and depressing moments and very real moments that uh, show a lot of humanity within the characters show a lot of consequences and um, it's just from really fucked up characters are displayed there uh, I really like um, the main farmer not not the old man but his son who is um, essentially a liar I'm not gonna really spoil it here but i love his character progression and backstory and sort of plot twist it's just such a good arc and such a such a, a lot of character development for our main character which i love i love character development okay so that was pretty much my experience with vinland saga what i really liked about it back then and the differences in time and how i've grown and it's really interesting and Hopefully I am evolving in a, the right direction, but who knows? That's just how I see Vinland Saga different now. Maybe I, I'm a more patient fellow and I I um, just enjoy things for different reasons now. I think back then I was too focused on action and uh, badass scenes. And now I'm more focused on character development. So uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, comment down below if you've done this before or you know how you've changed over the years. Later guys.